Well, hello. It's Dave here, fat lad on a bike, only not on a bike, back from holiday now. And uh, yeah, I wanted to talk to you about the custom fit guards which I got. The in-ear monitor style thing I used to wear under my helmet so I can hear comms and keep wind noise out of my little head while we're riding along because wind noise can make you deaf. It can make you deaf! Maybe shouldn't have said that that loud. Anyway, yeah. Um, wind noise has this horrible habit of reducing your hearing, and my hearing is bad enough to start with without making it any worse. The right ear is, uh, yeah, not very good. Left one's good, so I want to keep the hearing in the left ear. And so I got these. And these are the, these are the in ear monitors. They've got a name, and I'll put what the name is up on screen as we go along. Um, right here, left here, and as you'll see, connected up with a piece of uh, electric string that allows the sound to get there from your headset uh, via what is a 12-inch piece. And uh, it's all sealed up. This is not the normal length. I ordered at this length specifically because I wanted to use them with my helmet. That's why they're as they are. So that's all good. Um, what's clever about them is, as you'll have seen from the other film, they're moulded to fit your ears, which these ones do quite nicely. They look a bit... There's been a few little bits of cracks when it's all occurred, but it's all se sealed over and doesn't appear to be uh, dropping to bits or anything. That's that's not a hope. Oh, it is. Oh, dearie. Dearie me. That might well actually be a crack. Oh, Lord. Not happy about that, I have to say. Um, not quite sure why that's there. There's obviously something being in, and that looks as though it's now come away, which is a bit of a shame because I've only actually used them once. I shall have to give the boys a ring and find out what the crack is. That looks as though it might have been plugged. Anyway, um, Yes, I'm not really happy about that. For 140 quid, I would have expected better. This is the little brush thing that comes in the little box that you get everything in. Um, let's just have a look and see whether that is a crack. It is. That slides in, so I don't know what's going on there. I'm assuming that's where the armature is. What to do? Yeah, I, I might have to give them a ring. Anyway, let's let's carry on. You can see that that's there, and you can see as well here that there's been a little bit of a a crack going on that's been sealed over by the soft stuff. Let's let's assume that that's not there, and I'll come back to you on that one. As you can see, there's two holes. Um, one leads up to this filter. Uh, I ordered up. The blocky off filters as well and that'll, that'll just take the place of that and I'm wondering whether it's taken that filter out that's caused the crack because it appears to be in a slightly different place anyway um, so this filter comes out and you can put the the block filter in so that cuts down wind noise the other one cuts out all noise um, and I got that to try it I've not tried it yet and I don't know that I will um, as you can also note, they are shaped to fit your ear, and they actually slip in quite nicely with a little bit of a uh, little bit of the ear bar on that they uh, present, which I've just done. Um, they just go in, you twist it, put it in, that's it. It's in, just like that. Now you can see, and you can also see because it fits behind what's called the conch of your ear or the conch, if you want to call it that, you might be able to notice it's actually lower than this outside part. So your ear sits where your ear sits. So if your helmet's comfy, it'll still be comfy. And to be honest, when they're on, you really can't feel very much. Um, I got red and blue because I'm colour blind, so it means that I can, uh, yeah. Now, I can tell you, that you can hear noises up the up the lead. 
if you scrub against the lead, you can hear into there. But the sound quality is not bad. Single speaker, mono, working for comms, which is all I got it for. The fine. Now, I'll just whip that out. I've had them on and I've used them and here's what I've got to tell you. They're going to take some getting used to. You can't just put them on and expect to hear what you were hearing just quiet or it doesn't work that way. Um, in actual fact, or what seems to happen is you feel isolated. I couldn't hear the engine note on my R1200 GSA the way I'm used to. It hasn't got a particularly loud exhaust on it. And it just made it a little bit more isolating, if you like. Now, if I'd been wearing earplugs for donkey's ages, then I'd have been used to that. But I haven't. Should have been. Um, and I think I probably will be doing in future because everything was a lot more quiet. And it certainly made the comms a lot clearer so Chris was on the other end um, and I could hear everything he had to say at a level that was much quieter than it had been before and that's quite important because the level that I'd had to have the comms before even though the helmet I use is quite quiet was still quite loud so it would kind of um, be quite loud in my ears whereas with these bits and bobs in with these custom fit guards um, molded in ear monitors um, in much quieter because the difference between Chris's voice and the outside sound was much less. Now that's with a pack talk bolt. Um, if you're going to use them with your own headsets then you need to check that your headset has a three and a half millimeter jack. You need a three and a half millimeter jack. I'm sure that you make adapters up for other kinds that don't have three and a half millimeter jacks, but it's worth uh, worth talking to them. Right, I shall give you some more info on these as we go along. Um, the more I get used to them, the better. And I'll come back to you and let you know about that crack because I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be there. But for the time being, I've been Dave, fat lad on a bike. If you've not yet subscribed, please do. Um, and then you'll ring the little uh, the bell icon as well if you can and then, then you'll be uh, notified when I post any more videos and obviously the follow up to this because we'll want to know about that crack um, I should also say Teapot One's been getting a pair of these if you were watching Richie Vader's channel you'd have seen that Custom Fit Guards were at uh, the Wild Bad Weekender which I couldn't make because I was away on holiday otherwise I'd have been there um, and I saw that Bruce was getting measured up for his, so I'm pretty sure there'll be something coming up on Bruce's channel fairly shortly as well. And I'll be interested to hear his take on them, because I don't know what he's ordered. I don't know what they're giving him. Um, and it'll be interesting to see. Right, so for now, this is Dave, fat lad on a bike, signing off. Stay lucky, stay upright, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next video. Till then, bye-bye now. Bye-bye.